All right, in this video, um, I'm going to go over how to make a basic force diagram like we've done on this worksheet in class, and also how to take the vectors when you draw the force diagram, how to use those vectors to actually move them around and get an idea of which direction the net force is pointing, if there is a net force at all. all right, so we'll start with this one, the water skier. This is what your diagram should look like. Right, so you've got gravity down here, the weight of the guy, you have the tension in the rope that's right here pulling this way and you have the normal force because over here you draw it. this is your surface right so the guy standing on it the normal force is pushing perpendicular right so if I actually take these vectors and move them head to tail right as long as I don't change the direction I can move them head to tail and that'll show me which direction the net force is right so I'll move tension down here and I'll move the normal force like this and if you look at it this comes down it starts right here right comes down over in the tension normal force takes you back up so you end up right back where you started so in this case the net force is zero right everything adds back up it takes you to zero right there's no resultant Okay, so the second one is pretty similar. You got the guy with the little kids on the sled. So there's gravity, there's the rope pulling this way, there's a normal force from the ground pushing up, and because the sled's moving, there's going to be friction going backwards. So it would look something like this, right? So again, I can move my vectors as long as I don't change the length of the direction. I can move them around. So again, I'll keep gravity still, and then I'll move friction down here and then if I move normal force right here uh, tension in the rope right there again it ends up starting here right gravity friction normal tension takes me right back to where I started so again the net force in this case is zero right there's no resultant so again another uh, I guess outcome of this is that because the net force is zero you know it's not accelerating right and you okay I'll do one more like this where the net force is zero right because in this case number four we can tell the guy's hanging from the rope bridge right so we know right away the net force is zero because he's not accelerating you know at least we hope he's not accelerating because then he's gonna die right, but again there's gravity going down and then he's holding onto that rope right there, but each hand is touching. So there's a force this way in the rope, and there's a force that way. Even though it's one rope, what it ends up looking like is this. I've got gravity down and the two rope forces, right? So if I take them, again, I'm going to leave gravity alone. I'm going to move tension of rope one down to here. I'll move tension of rope two over here so that starting at the beginning head to tail they all take me back to zero all right so i'll do one here for an object that's accelerating right in this case the skier going downhill if you look at it it tells you that friction's negligible so obviously if the guy's skiing downhill and there's no friction he's going to be accelerating right you should know that so again drawing the force diagram i have gravity going down and here's my surface, right? So my normal force should go perpendicular to the surface. Those are the only two forces, right? Because we said if there was friction, it would be this way, but it's not, so it's negligible. So our force diagram should look like this right here. All right, so again, here's my two forces. I'm going to leave gravity alone. I'm going to pick up the normal force and move it down here head to tail but if you notice now unlike all the other ones this doesn't take me back to where I started I started here and it's ending here right all my vectors add up to here so in this case I'm gonna have a resultant that goes from here to here right that's the net force that's the resultant of those two vectors the vector sum of my gravity force and my normal force so in this case, because that's the direction of my net force, that also means 
that that's the direction that the guy's accelerating, which makes sense because if I pick up this vector, right, it's the same as this one. If I pick it up and take it over here, look, it makes sense. That's the direction the guy's accelerating, right? It's the same as the vector sum that I got over here, and it matches up perfectly to that. So if you just draw your vectors correctly with the right lengths, right, I had these lengths to proportion, then you end up getting a vector that works out. And you're able to look at it and tell which direction the net force and therefore the acceleration is pointing. Alright, so last one I'm going to do, go back to number two, except same situation, right, the guy's pulling the kids on the sled, so there's the same forces, except now I'm going to make the situation where the sled is accelerating. So the guy, his tension in the rope is, there's enough of a horizontal component to overcome friction. So I'm going to basically do the same thing, but make friction smaller. Looks like this, right, so it's the same thing as before, there's tension in the rope here, there's a normal force, there's gravity but now the friction's a little bit smaller. So let's say the, the ice is a little slicker. Now, if I take these, leaving gravity alone, I'll put tension down here, normal force over here, the frictional force this way, and again, just like before, I start right here, down, over, up. The vector sum of these doesn't take me back to where I started. I end up here so that my resultant is from start to finish like that. That's my net force. So again, because I drew those correctly, my net force, the vector sum, the one uh, right here, if I pick that up, move it over here, that shows the direction of the acceleration, right? It fits perfectly in there as the vector sum of all my individual forces and over here it shows the direction of the net force. So again, the key is drawing things straight and with the right, uh, I guess, magnitude.